song like Medicine mm. seems to be really <clears throat> important to people who either want to come out mm -hmm. or are having trouble with, um, you know, being accepted for their sexuality. Mm-hmm. Is that a fair statement, you think? Uh, I'd say, yeah, there's definitely a part of it in there, yeah. And they say that a lot of kids who come to your shows, suddenly, I don't know what it is, they get the confidence or the wherewithal to say, fuck it, mm. I'm going to live my life authentically. I mean, I think, like, it's it's definitely, I'd say, feeling like there is a, there's a space where people feel safe enough to kind of share, to, I guess have those big moments and obviously share them with uh, a room full of people and share them with us in, in a way is um, you know probably one of the things I'm most proud of I think in you know again in in a lot of ways like I, I actually don't think that is as much about me as it maybe seems I think the atmosphere that I feel is created in the room of the shows that we do is this kind of like free, um, incredibly like emotionally generous uh, atmosphere. And it's kind of one of the things that I feel like when people come and see a show, it's one of the first, you know, two things that people comment on is, you know, I've just never been in an atmosphere like that. It just feels so like safe. It's like a room. It's like a family full of strangers who are all kind of, feeling this like free evening and it's kind of an escape and i think like the fans create that atmosphere more so than me i think they have obviously created that for me to feel yeah, like but you're that. the lightning can... rod harry i mean because you're willing to go up on stage and dress the way you want to and singing about things that uh perhaps encourage that freedom i mean you're mm -hmm. you're the catalyst for that i mean um, I'd, I'd say like, i wouldn't say i was a catalyst i'd say i was more of a mirror because i think I only have that space on stage to feel kind of free enough to be whoever I am because I think it's an environment that both the fans and, you know, the people in my life, my friends have, have created for me to feel like I can be whoever I want. But don't you think there's some weird shit going down in this country right now where a lot of rights, uh, not just a woman's right yeah. to choose, but there's some weird vibe going on where pe there's a backlash. Yeah, I could I think, see gay well, marriage going uh, out the window. I could see a lot of this shit uh, disappearing, some of the freedoms that people have been enjoying. Yeah, I think I think there is, you know, for a while and in some places in, in our culture, like there's a lot of people who are taking, I think, the right steps to try and make positive things happening. And I think obviously people who don't like that are kind of clawing to grapple back any ground that they feel like they've lost which never belonged to them in the first place i just don't think anyone should be able to make decisions about anyone else's body it doesn't it doesn't really make any sense to me i think there's a level of obviously what's happening here in the country at the moment is i don't really know where that ends like at the, you know at that point is it you know someone needs uh, an operation and someone can decide that they can't have it and um, it just, it, it makes no sense to me. And I think we live in a world where we feel like we're always making the right steps. And there's a lot of people who are taking positive steps. And I think it's, it's quite scary to see kind of like just how far backwards we're going in a lot of ways.